Yesterday we reacted to blacksmithing and metalworking scenes from Amazon's Lord of the Rings Rings of Power show and at the end we saw them melt down inside this incredibly interesting looking ladle. I've never seen anything like it. They then poured the molten metal out the front of the ladle and they ended up casting that metal into This ladle was fascinating to me and I want to recreate it and that's what we're doing today. We've got two main components. We have the handle that has a pretty long length to it and these split out hooks that carry the ladle itself. I've done some calculations and I've worked out that I need 280 millimeters of 50 mil by 12 mil, two inch by half inch flat bar. So we can light the forge, cut that steel and start trying to forge it. Gotta take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. If you've ever wanted a truly AAA quality game right in your back pocket or on your PC, Raid is here for you. Explore millions of champion combinations and master tactics as you conquer dungeon runs, campaign battles, and arena PvP matches. They just celebrated their third anniversary, and that hasn't stopped them from building on the already incredible Rolodex of champions they have. They keep adding more and more, and last year, they even added a brand new faction, Shadowkin. They further developed the game with the addition of the 120 level Doom Tower, and by introducing Hydra, the biggest, baddest, and most scary clan boss around. Raid's running an amazing trick or treat promotion for Halloween, where new players can win a bunch of real life and in game prizes. Some of the winnings include a thousand dollar Amazon gift card, and some of the best and epic or legendary Halloween champions in Raid. Anyway, it's all free and it's super easy. Download Raid with my link in the description, then head over to this link, enter your details, spin the wheel, and hopefully win a prize. So this special event ends on November 5th, so act fast. Go ahead and click my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen right now. You'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30, a free champion Tayrail, and also this cool in-game loot. And check your inbox here for rewards in the next 30 days. Why has it been so long since I have just forged a big old taper? That was exhilarating. This tool, if you don't hold it right, it smacks your hand. So to hopefully stop this thing from beating the daylights out of my hand, I'm gonna flatten the bar so it flexes before it breaks my bones. Oh, that's so much better. That was a good decision. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> so this is really challenging. We don't have a lot of access for actually hitting this material where it needs to be hit. So we put it in the vice, the back uh, Ooh, yeah, get it. So I'm running into an issue here. This one, I can forge down. This center one is giving me a lot of grief. So I'm gonna try this. I am going to see if I can bend all the other material away from it so that I can fit it into the power hammer. The downside with this 
is every time you make big sharp bends, you risk damaging the steel. You can make some cracks and all of that, especially with all these transitions. So it's gonna be slightly risky business, but I'm a bit limited on other options. So risky business is the name of the game and all we've got today. So while we're doing some forging, let's talk about forging things. This anvil I'm using, you probably well remember, is an anvil that we designed and made. But here's the thing. For those of you lucky enough to already have one, you've kind of got a collectible item right now. A limited edition type of thing, because we don't have a foundry anymore. We had a place that was making these, and here's the thing, we wanted to sell anvils to people that were as close to perfect as possible. Casting is an imperfect process. And the result was we were rejecting too many anvils for them and uh, they didn't want to work with us anymore. I need to treat this carefully because there's no chance I'm going to be getting another one. Not until we can find a new foundry. But fortunately, the Alex Steel Co. still has lots of lovely equipment grinders, these lovely trousers or pants, hammers, all that good stuff for you to enjoy when you're in your workshop. Just not the anvils, unfortunately. Wow, look at that. That's what we got done today. The next step is we need to split these protrusions, bend them out, as it's those protrusions that are gonna be holding the actual ladle itself. Right, so we got this thing forged out, it's done. We now have to work on the actual box portion of this crucible ladle thing. Rough measurements, we'll adjust them. My plan is to make it a fabricated and welded construction where we then grind out the weld lines to hopefully make it look not fabricated and welded. Molten metal boat is complete along with a pouring lip. Our handle slots in, picks it up. And if we go to our back setting, we're able to pour from the front. Ooh! 
So now, moment of truth. So we've got it all loaded up with copper and we are gonna test melting it to see how it looks. Because one of the critiques I had about the show was that this little boat did not get up to an incandescent temperature the whole way through. And I was saying that if all that molten material was yellow hot, that steel boat would be two. So we're gonna see what it looks like when all that copper melts. That is so cool. It's just disappearing, isn't it? We got ourselves a liquid copper. It's at temperature, let's pour it into a very fancy mold. So let's see. Whoa, oh, I spilt some. Ah, I spilt more, whoopsie daisy. Right, as you can see, the whole thing is hot. And we're pouring it out the front. Look at that. We are the Lords of the Rings. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.